Question 13. The diagram shows a cuboid drawn on a 3D coordinate grid. So your x and the y and the z's. The vertex n, so the corner n, of the cuboid has coordinates 6, 2, 4. Okay? Um, so remember the coordinates of a three dimensional shape is going to first be the x, then the y. x determines left and right. y determines up and down, doesn't it? And then you've got a third one, which is z, which is kind of like towards you. Okay? So the vertex n has the coordinates 6 across, 2 up and 4 towards you. Okay. Uh, so what are the coordinates of vertex R which is this corner here. So how much to left and right? 0. How high is it going to be? It's going to be the same as N, so 2. And how towards you is it going to be? If you're imagining a 3D shape, it's going to be the same as n, so that's going to be 4. Okay, so that's worth one mark, part a, and you have to have 0, 2, 4 to get that mark. Okay, uh, so part b says, what are the coordinates of the midpoints of the line segment Rn? So let me draw that in. Rn is this line segment here. Now we have to find the midpoint. So that's going to be here. Okay. Okay, so if you take an average of the x coordinates of r and n, uh, that will give you the midpoint. Okay, so r has these coordinates and n has these coordinates. So we're looking at x's first, so the first one. n is 6 across and r is none across. So that means the midpoint is going to be 3 across. Okay. And if I just show you the average, so that's going to be 6 plus 0. So the x is going to be 6 plus 0 divided by 2 which gives us 3. The y is going to be 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 which is 4 divided by 2 and that's going to give us 2. So let's see if that makes sense. So it needs to be 2 high as n is 2 up r is also 2 up um, so this midpoint is still yeah 2 up okay so that's correct and the last one is our z coordinate so how far out it comes out um, and they both stick out 4 units okay um, so let's take that average then so 4 add 4 is 8 divided by 2 is 4 so 3, 2, 4 is the coordinate of this midpoint here. And that's it. So question 13 is worth 3 marks. And part B is worth 2 marks. So let's see how you get those marks. Um, so the first one's for a method mark. Um, for getting at least 2 of these values correct at least two or if they can see you taking an average of the x values or the average of the y or the average of the z's okay uh, this may be implied by their answer with no working scene okay and the third mark oh, sorry the second mark is for the complete Correct answer of three, two, four. 
And that's it for question 13.